Okay, so this magnificent party of yours, everyone's passed out or has left or has left, then passed out. It is, well, I'm not calling this late because I've been to, hmm, how do I put this? Good parties. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but it's just, you know, I'm used to a certain, a certain level, a certain standard, okay? And, well, this hasn't exactly hit those lofty heights. I should be leaving you a three and a half star Yelp review. Yeah, sure, I'll help you clean up later, but... I mean, come on, we really... I know a lot of people are done, but I'm not done. I'm still... I still have life and energy and soul and wit and witticisms and... You know... Things to say and do and experiences to experience. Words to say. I don't know. I mean, we can at least chill out for a bit and talk now. <laughs> what about true I feel like there's not many things we haven't talked about about how overstressed you were for this non-party how about that yeah, we're gonna put all these things in order no no what if people are rowdy I mean we could have had a pensioners party and it would have been more rowdy than this all the old grannies with their Zimmer frames smashing windows, you know. Grandpa's throwing his false teeth at people's heads. Yeah, just really wild parties with the OAPs. Meanwhile, this has been like a bloody after-school club. The most dangerous thing was someone getting a sugar high. I'm just saying this party was bad and you as the host should feel bad about it. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. I should stop making fun of your pathetic party. Anyway, what do you want to do? Well, we're going to hang out for a bit, right? Because we might as well. Maybe some people come around and end up hanging out with us. It ends up being more of a kind of like cool homies night in. Well, it's worth a try anyway. So what do you want to play? Want to play poker? No, of course you don't know how to play poker. <sighs> I don't know. I can't be bothered teaching you. Maybe you can find a video online. I'm sure someone's done some video that explains the basics, you know? Hmm. I'd say spin the bottle, but it's a bit redundant, you know? <laughs> what can we play as a party game that could pick up if more people arrive? But can work with two people. How about Hmm? Have I read the title? What Huh? What What did you name the party? No? What do you mean title? I Okay, well I don't know what you're laughing about, but anyway. Okay, so what game could we possibly play? Did, why are you laughing? This is a difficult question. Unless you've got some genius idea over there. Truth or dare? Uh, yeah, I don't think that'll work. Hmm? Am I clickbait? I don't even understand the quick. <sighs> Are you just gonna be weird unless we do what you want? That's kind of how this is feeling. Fine, fine, whatever. Let's do truth or dare. Do you want to start or shall I? In fact, what does starting mean? First to be questioned or first to question? You question me first? Okay, sure. 
So I say truth or dare. Wait, no. You say truth or dare. I answer. Right, yes. Okay. Say, say the, do the, th yes, thing do. Thank you. Well, after great consideration, I have decided that it is in the best interests uh, of everyone involved if we should set up an exploratory committee in order to truly explore what it means to answer these questions and, you know, really run it through the proper procedures so we can come up with a full and complete answer after a public inquiry in six months. Why well, you don't like my politician speak? I thought it was great. You say a bunch of committee words long enough that people forget, just forget what they asked you. Just don't care anymore. Just don't want to hear you speak anymore. And then you walk away as if you've done something, collect government money, scam the people, do whatever you want, don't do what you're elected to do, I don't know. Claim expenses for things that you have absolutely no right claiming expenses for. And in more general way, just be a complete and utter waste of oxygen. Why well, you don't think that's cynical enough? Yeah, me neither. Anyway. Right, truth or dare, fine. I pick truth. Did I actually like the party? I mean, it was going well at first. But I don't really know what happened. I don't know if someone brought something, you know, that kind of... How do I put it? Could be used to tranquilize much larger animals than humans. That's kind of how it feels, like suddenly half the people were all hanging off of wardrobes, you know, and couldn't really speak anymore. And while it's not like anyone's been like seriously ill or, you know, passing out or, well, there's a couple passed out, but they were definitely just drinking. It's not like anything's, hmm, like really wrong medically, I guess, but they just became kind of boring, you know? Things are going well, and then everyone becomes boring, and then things aren't going well anymore because the people who are here are, well, you know, a few people have to leave early, a few people are too drunk, a few people, I think, are something else, and all of a sudden you're left with not that many people to actually party with, you know? But, yeah, well, while the party was still a party, I thought it was going quite well and it was good fun. I, was, I thought it was shaping out to be a good night, and then... Yeah, something went weird. Okay, truth or dare for you? Truth, huh? Uh, have you ever Man, I don't really have a question in my head. I probably should have started thinking about this earlier, huh? Mild issue. Um, what's your favorite party you've ever been to? Yeah, I'll wait for you to answer. Duh. Of course, my answer would have been vastly more interesting, but, you know, you do you. I'll take you to a real party at some point. You just, you got to hang around me more, you know? No, like, not like partners in crime, like, you know, Sherlock and Watson, if Watson was perhaps a small dog or a hamster. That's a good comparison. Okay, your turn. I shall select dare, for I am daring, bold, and adventurous, unlike you have gone to, you know, your party answer kind of proof that it's not the case. Hmm, really? That's it. Fine. I will text them. There you go. Or once the actual dare, you get to text them. 
Within reason, I need to approve what you send. I'm not having you text my mum without, you know, like you're not going to text her something super weird. You can text her something kind of silly, but not, I don't know. Not something that would actually worry her, put it that way, because that's just... It's a dare on me, not my mum, you know. She just shouldn't have to suffer for it. She can think ill of me for a brief period before she asks me about it. And that's fine. Ah, oh, come on, really? But... Ah, uh, fine, fine. You evil little sod. <sighs> right, yes, okay, sent it. Wonderful. You're gonna get some very, this can be hard to explain, but fine. Okay, next up, me asking you truth or dare. Oh dear, huh? Thinking you're adventurous. Okay. <laughs> I want you to pour cold water onto Sean until he wakes up. Well, look at him, he's passed out in the car. He's drilling. I know he was just drinking, so get him up. I mean, he might basically pass out immediately afterwards, but come on. I mean, he's ruining the feng shui of the room. Look, the, that, look at that potted plant is supposed to be a little gap, but no, here's Sean just look, stinking up the place. Literally and figuratively. Come on, get Sean out here. Cold water. Go, go, go. In fact, there's water there. I hope there's water. Is that water? Eh, we'll call it water. Yes, pour this until Sean wakes up. And if the whole bottle is finished, then fine. You don't get to refuse dares. That's not how the game works. You just had me text my mum. An absurd message, which I'm going to have to answer for. I would have taken pouring the thing over Sean, over the mum text. Ah, <sighs> fine. Okay, fine. How about this? Go and kiss Sean. There you go. What? You ca you're still refusing dares. This is still illegal. And also, why are you blushing now? Do you like Sean? No, then what's the problem? Okay, look, you're not allowed to do dares anymore. This is ridiculous. So, pick truth. <laughs> All right. Truth. Wow, what a staggering selection. You said you don't like Sean, right? No, actually, let's not do that. No, let's do that. You said you don't like Sean. So is there someone you do like? Yes. Is it someone I know? Only one question at a time. Oh, so now we're a stickler for the rules. So the fact that you denied two dares and that's completely against the rules, com that doesn't matter. But... Ooh, now we're a stickler for rules. That's very fair. Whatever. Fine, ask me something. Truth. Do I like someone? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you only have to answer one question, I'm sure as hell not answering two. You don't want to play anymore? Why? All right, you can't dare and you know I'll ask you for truth and I guess you don't want to answer it. <sighs> but why don't you want to answer it? I mean, come on, we share everything. We <laughs> we're practically joined at the hip, you know? Why would you not want to tell me who your crush is? In fact, now I think about it, I can't believe you haven't told me before truth or dare. How do I not just know? Hmm. You don't know mine? 
Oh, who says I only have one? I'm such a beloved man. And plus, you know. Well. Uh, this isn't the point. Anyway, the point is, usually I know your sort of stuff like this, right? You've been hiding things from me. It's a very bad look. Yours be well. It's not Sean. We've established that. I mean, given the feng shui ruining and everything, understandable. Let's think about you. You want someone you talk to. You'd want someone you enjoy spending time with. Ah. You would. He would want someone who makes you laugh. Um, I'm trying to think who fulfills those criteria. Like, with you, I feel like it's important that you could talk about, you know, like almost anything, right? Like, it couldn't be someone who's super, I don't know how to put it, like, superficial or obsessed with appearance. Like, if you were feeling bad, for example, or, you know, feeling insecure or something like that, you'd want someone you could actually open up to about it and not feel like they're going to judge you. Which rules out, to be honest with you, quite a few... <laughs> certainly a few who have arrived at this particular party. Hmm. Huh. I... Nah. Why are you like curled up over there? You think I'm gonna figure it out? Oh come on, why'd it be such a big deal? Anyway... No, I... I really can't think of anyone who... I mean, at the end of the day, like, all these things, it's more... Well... Everything I can think of that... Everything your crush should be describes me, right? But like, you know, it's not me, so... And it's not like it's anyone else that I can think of that's here. I, um... Is there a reason you're not, you know, looking at me or facing me or like... Seemingly showing signs of being alive. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I came closer because why are you so? It's not me, right? It's presumably not me, but, uh, is it seriously me? Okay, I tell you what, if you answer me truthfully, I'll tell you who mine is, okay? Fair. And to be honest with you, I feel like, um, you're not really doing a great job of hiding this, so... Well, I'll just ask you one more time, I guess. Is yours me? <laughs> okay, well, a deal's a deal, so... I think it's fair to let you know who mine is. You ready? officially a couple, we're going to throw much better parties than this. 
Well, of course we're officially a couple. Why would we not be? Oh, come on. We both... <laughs> we're each other's crushes. How much more cliche and obvious do you want it to get? Well, we're just going to sit around and be best friends while we're both crushing on each other. Of course we're going to be in a relationship now. What else is going to happen in your mind? I mean, I'm not going to promise it works out. I hope it does, obviously, and I'm going to try and make it work out, but life's not that guaranteed. Even if it doesn't work out, I like to think we could maybe still be friends after, but hell, I'm not really... To be honest with you, losing the friendship is not my worry. My worry is how many people are going to laugh at us and say, well, it wasn't that obvious. I feel like we were probably really, really stupidly obvious. But uh, we were probably the only ones who didn't realise it, huh? This went from an average forgettable party to one of the better nights of my life, so there's that. <laughs> well, come on, let's uh, start cleaning up, I guess, and getting some of these bums out of your house. I mean, Sean, for a starter, I, I'm going to roll this guy out the window. It's not mean he... The feng shui! Smelliness! Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Come on. Let's not pretend this is anything other than clearly a natural evolution to our relationship. We can make a big deal about it later once it's sunk in and we're both completely sober. Till then, let's try not to let it overwhelm either of us and instead just clean up. <laughs> and wake up tomorrow wondering if that ever happened. And then look over at the other one and be like, oh yeah, I did. Ah, <gasps> scandalous. Hey, I didn't say anything would happen if we could cuddle. <laughs> hey, anyway, come on. Clean up, come on. <laughs>